So today I'm going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Wichita, Kansas, so stay tuned. So, well, let's get started. Number one, Sedgwick County Zoo. It's one of the largest in the state. It's a major attraction here in town, open year round. A variety of different passes so you can do the the family pass uh, go throughout the year um, it's home to more than 3,000 animals about 400 species you know and families will love the children's play area they've got boat rides and trams and a lot of different great exhibits to see as well the penguin cove tiger track downing gorilla forest and i of course love the giraffe so and it definitely makes for a long day so now let's get to number two, Tanganyika Wildlife Park. That's over on the west side, um, over in Goddard from Wichita. And um, they offer 10 interactive animal encounters. They're adding more every year. Uh, they are the only place in the U.S. with an interactive ringtail lemur island, as well as the only location where you can feed Indian rhinos and pygmy hippos. So uh, some other animals you can see, clouded leopards, purple cap lorries, Nigerian dwarf goats, and more. And they offer a couple different passes of $20 to $50, so just check out online uh, the website for the details. Again, this is the west side of town um, in Goddard. So number three, we're going to the Botanica, and that is close to downtown. It's a botanical garden. It's a regional horticulture center, opened in 87. And originally it had four gardens and is now more than you know 17 acres, so definitely has grown quite a bit. Um, and you can have weddings there. And the big event that a lot of people I know go to are is Illuminations. Um, and that's a Christmas where all the everything's lit up, and so the families go out there, take the pictures and stuff like that. So number four, let's get to number four favorite things to do. Keeper of the Plains. This is actually a giant 44 foot tall statue, steel statue by the downtown rivers. And it's kind of, there's a symbol of it. You'll see these little statues everywhere in stores. And it's where a lot of people can go, just kind of hang out, walk along the bridges, walk along the water. And a great thing I like is there's a fire drums at seven o'clock at night, most nights, at the bottom of the, st uh, the statue. And it gives this really dramatic effect because it's over the water and everything. And when my running group used to run um, daily or nightly, um, our big excitement would be when we're running back and um, we'd get to see the, the fire lit. So it's really cool, but you gotta be driving by there about seven o'clock or, or running or walking or something. So number five, number five, let's get into WSU Shockers. Wichita does not have professional team here, so the whole city tends to get around behind the Wichita Shockers, specifically the basketball team, because they've done really well lately. Went to Final Four, and they've been just very good for the last decade. And a lot of times they sell out the 10,000 plus Coke Arena. It's an amazing arena. And um, so, you know, if you're a fan of sports, that's kind of what you're going to follow here if you live in Wichita. Let's get to number six, Exploration Place. It's a science museum located downtownish near the Keeper of the Plains. It's um, on the west side of the Arkansas River in Delano. Again, all basically central to downtown and Old Town. Um, there's uh, lots of family and kid-friendly exhibits and things to do there, like dinosaur exhibits. So, number seven. Interest Bank Arena, this was built so many years ago, and it's a 15,000 seat multi-purpose arena downtown Wichita, so it's a pretty new, gorgeous inside. It features 22 suites, two party suites, and over like 300 premium or VIP seats there. So it's home to the Wichita Thunder uh, the hockey team, and so you can go watch the hockey there, or that's where all the big concerts happen in our town. So. Number eight, Kansas State Fair. This is, happens in Hutchinson's. It's an annual event. It, it's, around, it's on September. It starts the Friday following Labor Day and lasts for about 10 days. It's like the single largest event in the state and attracts about 350,000 people. They'll have farm animal, uh, animal events, of course, the rides, the great, you know, festival foods that they typically have. So number nine, another event is Riverfest. Now this is Wichita Riverfest and it's another annual multiple day event jam packed with fun attractions and activities, of course, for the whole family. 
Uh, the summer um, has, they have a lot of stages with live music, hosting many acts, as well as a variety of, of athletic events. Um, to give you a few of them, it's the Cardboard Regatta. They've got bike tours you can sign up for soccer, paddle boarding, boating, um, several different races, dodgeball, and more I've had friends do the dodgeball tournaments. They have kid-friendly attractions, include like, the hands-on arts, the crafts, rides, inflatables, and fun theatrical productions. And there's also a roller derby exhibition to watch. Um, a parade, the farmer's market, you got laser tag, a lot of kids love, um, helicopter rides, see what's going on overhead, and of course lots of great food that those festivals have. And it all ends with fireworks, and for many years I actually played in the, uh, so the co-ed Riverfest softball tournament. So, and then there was a men's on a different weekend men's softball tournament as well. So, Now we got to number 10. Wind surge, we got the new AAA baseball stadium, again downtown where a lot of the stuff is. And it's, it used to be the home of the Wing Nuts for many, many years. And 2020 was supposed to debut this new gorgeous, beautiful, I've driven by it, but it was delayed. It was supposed, opening day was supposed to be during the COVID time. And so we're waiting probably till next year, 2021 for this to open. So we're all excited to get to experience that. I was personally was gonna go to opening day with friends. Um, the new AAA team is named the Windsurge, so we're looking forward to that. So there you have it, 10 great things to do in Wichita, Kansas. And now for the freebie, so look in the description below. Basically included a link of the 10 activities to kind of get a little description and to know about the dates of, of when you can enjoy those. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below if you found this information helpful. And I do put up weekly um, videos so you'll be alerted of that if you'll ring the little notification bell and until then let me know how i can help have a great day